thank you for joining me in my main gardens. I have a really fun project for us today. I have been so excited about creating this ever since my cousin told me about it. Um, my cousin was visiting our house on the coast of Maine recently and before she left she said, would it be okay if I took some sand home? And I said, yeah sure because we have plenty of it. Um, oh that breeze is so nice. Anyhow, Summer in Maine, gotta love it. So I said, sure, but I'm curious, what do you plan to do with the sand? And she said, well, I'm going to make a butterfly paddling station. And I went, what? I need to know more about this. So she explained to me what a butterfly paddling station is about. And then I did a bunch of research. So we're gonna make one today. This is gonna be so fun. And hopefully we'll attract a whole bunch of butterflies to our main gardens and to your gardens as well. So what I've learned about butterflies is that many species congregate on wet sand to do what they call puddle or puddling, where they drink water and they take in minerals and um, rest a little bit. So this is really easy to make. When I found out that the ingredients were something I already had in my house, I thought, why not? So we're gonna make one together. You're gonna see what the ingredients are, how I put this together, and um, then I'm gonna set it up in the garden. So let's go make a butterfly puddling station. Okay, we are going to start building our butterfly puddling station. So let me show you the ingredients we have to put this together. Um, the first thing you want is a large shallow dish or a container. It should be at least 12 to 18 inches. Um, and again, you want it to be shallow. So this is just a plant saucer. And if you're a gardener, you probably have a bunch of these lying around, especially if you've brought some of your house plants out for the summer and you have these saucers sitting in the garage with nothing to do. Great use for these. So this is the most important piece. Then we have our sand. Um, and this is actually real sand from uh, the coast of Maine. What's great about using beach sand is that it already contains a lot of minerals and salts and other ingredients that butterflies, butterflies, butterflies really enjoy. Um, if, however, you don't have access to beach sand, don't panic. You can still do this. What you might want to do is just you can purchase some sand. You could also try using. Um, small stones, maybe pea stone, gravel, and add some mineral rich compost or manure to the sand to give it some additional minerals. We're also going to add uh, sea salt. I'm using this great Maine sea salt because it's actually sea salt from derived from the oceans. Um, so you can do that as well. I am going to put about a tablespoon of sea salt into the sand just to enhance the minerals. Uh, again, if you use plain sand, that did not come from the ocean or the beach, put about a tablespoon or so of salt in it. Use sea salt, not table, spot, not table salt. Um, that is what is recommended. Then we're gonna set up some rocks in our little puddle area for the, the butterflies, just to give them a place to rest and chill out. Uh, and I also heard from people who have um, created these uh, puddling stations successfully is that butterflies like uh, ripened fruit. And I don't know about your household, but <laughs> this is a very common situation in our household. Overripe bananas. We never seem to use them or eat them before they ripen. And then um, I have apple trees in our garden and actually this fell off today. It's not overripe, but I'm going to put it in here and it will ripen over the next few days. So I'm going to set this up and you can watch me do it and hopefully it will, it will inspire you to do the same. And I was thinking too, if you have kids, this is such a great project. And you know, this is a little stone stack that I made. They can make some stone stacks. Maybe they could um, take a rock and, you know, paint it with some non-toxic paints, you know, put a butterfly on that rock. Like this would be a good one um, to paint a little butterfly uh, or make, a butterfly sculpture out of rocks and put that in here. That would be a lot of fun. All right, uh, let's get to work.
so I just realized I forgot, I forgot to put the salt in. <laughs> uh, so we're just going to take this out. Take this out. Mm -hmm. You know, that's how it goes sometimes. I'm just being real. Just being real with you. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to do this instead. Actually, I actually kind of like doing this better, smoothing the sand first and then putting the rocks in. Okay. It's like making a cake. It's really fun. All right. Now, let's get the salt. Oh, yeah. I'm on butterflies. You're going to love it. Like a margarita. Okay. I'll do a little more. Okay. And now I will put the stones back. I love the hearts. And this was a heart I found on the beach too. Isn't that cool? So, put a few of these around, this around. This is perfect for a little saucer with the fruit. I've got the bananas, the apple. Okay, I think we're good. You, know, you can, you know, you can make this any way you want. You can decorate it any way you want. It's almost like a little, um, a little fairy garden for butterflies. All right, I'm gonna leave it at that. Okay. Uh, the next important ingredient we need is water. Um, I am not, I am in my little, uh, garden shop right now. Here, let me move. There, that's better. Uh, so I am going to add the water once I get this into the bed where I'm putting it, um, because it's a little heavy. And when you put the water in, uh, you want it to be damp, but butterflies don't like, um, they need something to land on. So you don't want to have too much water. You want to just dampen the sand enough. Um, so there's water for them. Um, some you can make, I've seen made where they leave a little, um, put a little dish in. I might do that actually. I actually might do that. Um, I might get another saucer and just put water in it for the bees. Why not make it bee friendly too? So I'll probably do that once I get this into the garden. So where am I placing this? I'm placing this in a garden that is, um, right now I just have a ton of bees uh, because I have um, clethra shrubs, which are gorgeous and they're in full bloom right now and they're attracting a lot of bees. So um, I'm assuming they're going to attract some butterflies too. And it's also close to my um, watering source, my hose, so I can keep it damp. And that's um, the secret to this is you wanna keep it damp um, and we'll see what happens. All right, so I'm gonna move this and I'll take you to the gardens with me. If I was a butterfly, I'd wanna hang out in there. Hello? All right, come on, butterflies. Come on, come on. 